This unicorn review is sponsored by Massdrop. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how much of a sellout I have become. How are you, gruesome son of a bitch? Come to me. The Otter Magic is a 9.0 battle rating self-propelled ravioli launcher that actually forces allied teams to play the fucking game. This ridiculous pizza oven on tracks is equipped with a version of the 76 Otto Milor enable gun that can also be seen on the Type 143 Albatross. This meatball launcher was considered to be so overpowered the developers had to put it up against the Abrams rate train in order to give it a semblance of balance. Ah! Oh, what the fuck ever! And while normally I shit on Gaijin's attempts to balance powerful vehicles, this time they may have actually got it right. The automatic 76mm gun has a rate of fire of 120 rigatones per minute, which are stuffed with close to 1kg of DNT for extra tomato flavor, and while certainly impressive on its own, it is stuck with a 28 round ready rack which you can blow through faster than all you can eat at Tony Napolis. If you want to hold down the trigger with their burst shells like a dumbass, go pay the Subway Sandwich Launcher. This is how you serve the freshest pasta in Italy. You load 15 to 20 rounds of your overcooked macaroni followed by 12 rounds of uncooked fin stabilized spaghetti, and finally load as many ravioli air burst rounds as you can. And make sure to arrange your shells like this to allow for optimal reloading at capture points. Cause despite the fact that this thing gets better fin stabilized spaghetti than the XM1, it can only load 12 rounds of it, and you eat through that shit like Italians eat tomato based products. Another reason the Godomatic is the best SBAA in the game, is because it is perfect for mining salt to season your pasta water. If people in helicopters pursue the fuck off, this is the perfect method of removing their bullshit spawn advantage. Since they often have to get within range of your legalized aim but in order to fire rockets. In addition if they decide to camp outside the map and fire ATGMs gotcha, you can bitch. still fuck them over as your rounds don't have a maximum range. Also you have a laser range finder which you can use in combination with a custom sight to yeet them with their burst ravioli over ridiculous distances. Also keep an eye on your ready rack at all times to make sure you still have ammunition left to fire. You can do this at a glance by holding O on your keyboard and using the free look to check approximately how much ammo you have left in the rack. Also you can reload your ready racks 2 to 3 times faster than fat ass Luigi by sitting in a capture circle. The automatic is best positioned where you have a good field of fire against aircraft, while also having cover you can run to in the event that somebody gets annoyed with your presence. And a lot of people will be annoyed with your presence. Also don't blow your load too early like a fucking idiot. Wait for the enemy to get close enough for you to see the lead indicator. This lures dumbass pilots into a false sense of being superior to everyone else, before you give them the surprise stromboli. Also don't fire at enemies in turns or loops. Only fire at them when they are traveling in straight lines as this allows you to lead them much more easily, and keeps you from wasting good pasta like Luigi. The uncultured fuck. Once you have deleted the very concept of cats, relocate and reload the ready rack somewhere else cause you can bet your bow tie pasta that they will be coming back for your devout Italian ass. As for crew skills focus on keen vision, targeting and leadership. The modifications go for parts, FPE, horizontal drive, actual rifling, elevation mechanism, laser range finder, and APFSDS. Anything else after that is purely optional and doesn't contribute substantially to the vehicle's effectiveness. Now you know how to make enemy planes disappear. Now get out there, and show off your magic trick. Oh wait, there's more! Thank you guys for watching the Automatic Unicorn Review. I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching it. However, as mentioned at the start of the video, I totally sold out on this one. Mass Drop has graciously decided to sponsor the video, 
And to do that, they have sent me a pair of the New Force EDC in-ear monitors. Now, now Master Up is cool because they are able to often get a lot of their products for substantially less than retail value. The way they do that is that the community express interest by buying into a potential order. If enough orders are accrued, then they go to the supplier and purchase said items for a much reduced price than retail. In this case, the new force in-ear monitors re normally retail at about $80 to $90. But on Mastrop, you can get them for as low as $59.99 USD. They come with three silicon and two foam tips. I personally prefer to use the foam ones, but everybody's ear is different. So please experiment and figure out which one works for you the best. They also separate at the cable and you actually do get two different types of cable with this. One is just a straight audio cable and the other one features a microphone with a push button on it for use with your phone. It also has this handy new force case, which has a ring on it that allows you to clip it onto whatever you need it to. It also has a Velcro containing strap that keeps your cables nice and together and keeps them from falling out of the case. I personally like to clip them onto my keys whenever I go out because as I'm in the LA area, I tend to do a hell of a lot of commuting. So this is actually quite useful and I found that it keeps the earbuds nice and safe. It keeps them from getting tangled up while I'm just walking around or doing various ac other activities. Now, as for comfort, the most important part of all of this, I found that I really, really like this, the uh, phone tips. And frankly, the very first night that I had them, I'm not even kidding. I actually fell asleep with them on. This is not advertising here. This is me telling the truth. I actually fell asleep wearing these things. I forgot they were, I forgot that they were on. They were so comfortable. And that's saying something because normally I really, really am not that much of a fan of earbuds, but these are actually pr some pretty awesome ones, especially with those foam tips for me. If this sounds like the sort of thing that you'd be interested in, please check the link in the video description to go and check out Mastrop's page. And thank you guys for watching. Special thanks to Mastrop again for sponsoring this video, and I will see all of you guys in the next one.